Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Sunday the 10th of October 2021. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to play this game uninterrupted. I had a call to say a delivery was on the way and I waited and waited and it hasn't arrived so I shall just uh, try to play the game and you know what's going to happen as I play. I shall be interrupted most likely. Anyway, um, I'll just jump in and start off on today's New York Times hard level puzzle, shall I? Um, right, what's going on? Okay, first number I see is indeed number one. First number, number one, there we go. One blocking in all of those blue squares, leaving just one free cell or I can place the one there, and now one blocking down here, one blocking up here, give me a one to place there. <clears throat> and that's the way for one, so shall I just, just go on to twos in this way, this fashion? Not much to see there, not much to see. <clears throat> Four, there's something to see here. Four blocking across there and four blocking across there gives me a four to place there. And four blocking across here and across here and four up here gives me an empty square to put a four there. Well, it's a bit convoluted. Fives have to be here and here, so that means fives are also there and also there. That's the pattern for fives. Like here and here. <laughs> Very symmetrical kind of thing, well, almost symmetrical anyway. Um, but not giving us a single one that we can place yet, so let's just hold off on it and we'll come back and deal with it later. All right, back to one because I have placed uh, I have placed fours since I did that. So uh, there's been a small change. So there's a slight possibility that we could get something else now. Not a large possibility, but a small one. All right, and that's about it then. So in that case, I'm going to. Um, uh, well, just before I do that, let's have a quick look at um, if there is anything else that I can see. Uh, threes are going to have to be here, aren't they? Because three blocking this square here. So threes are like that. Um, in that row, we are also missing twos and nines, but no. Can't really tell anything there. I know there's six blocks up here, six blocks across here. That's going to give me sixes up there somewhere, but that's not particularly thrilling either. Um, what's going on down here? Uh, two and three are blocked here. Uh, well, we still need 
four has got to be in one of these two squares. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. The other number is eight. So that could go anywhere. <coughs> Oh, hold on. No. Okay, let's uh, uh, put some pencil marks in. I think. Hold on, just a just a tick. Three and one. Two and one. All right, let's 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 put in our pencil marks, shall we? Um, I, I always try to do as much as I can before putting in pencil marks because um, it just gets overloaded sometimes. I mean, I'm not, you know, anti pencil marks, or I'm not a no notation solver in general. Just try to keep them as few as possible for the reason it makes it difficult to solve the game when you see so many. So threes can go here. Uh, and of course, I'm just looking for pairs now. Um, so fours go in those squares. Fours go there. So I think fives. Five down here, five across here. So we've got five there. So maybe it's five there, as I mentioned before. You see, there's five here, right? So blocking. Oh, actually, yes, five blocking this square, all right? So that means that five will be in the l middle and lower row. Uh, so five is going to have to be there, not there. So five is going to be there. Uh, what else? Actually, I think that's it. No, tell a lie. Five there. Right then, with the sixes, six blocking up here, so six is in those squares there. Now, six is somewhere in this top row. Now, I'm going to put it in even though it's not a pair because look I've got three numbers in three squares so I'm going to put those I'm going to put it in this time um, because it is important now I've also got sixes down here um, but it's important because I'm going to get these two numbers now as well um, so these have to be two and nine right let's put them in now Okay, so the two's blocking down here now, two blocking down here, and two across here means that we know that that is two. Uh, and the nine's blocking down here mean that nine will, and, and, and all the way down, and nine will have to be in this, somewhere in this. Um, central column here which will block down here and nine will block across here so we know also that nines are a pair there. I'm going to put this in right now uh, while I see it. Oh, since I'm doing nines I'll put nines in here as well actually and here and here. Um, right but I was, I should get back to what I was doing, fours, fives, uh, sixes, that's what I think, as far as I got. Okay, sevens. Seven blocks down here, across here, and across here, so that gives me a pair of sevens to fill in there. Now we can place a seven here, seven blocking here, seven blocking here. We can place a seven there, and then that's going to block across here. And this seven blocking up here gives me a pair of seven candidates to place there. Uh, 
8 now blocking across this square and 8 blocking across this square means we can fill in 8 here. About 9 we looked at already. Now I must be able to get this number here because I've got 3 numbers in 3 squares here, 3, 5 and 6. So I'm looking for one more number across this row and the missing number is 2. So we'll place that 2 now. 2 blocks down here, 2 blocks up here, 2 blocks across here. That's our 2 to fill in, 2 across this way, 2 across this way, that gives 2 there. Overwriting a 5 there, like so. That's going to give us a pair of 5s in those squares. Uh, missing number here is going to be 3. Okay, we've got blocking 3 here, but we need 3 to finish this row. This is going to be 2 on 9 because this is 2 on 9. Okay. In fact, let's uh, say 2 blocking here, so this is 2. Uh, the 9, we don't know anything about. Put the nine in there. I can hear sounds like my cat calling. Um, but now I've found something nice here. Look, because here, here, and here. To remember, th this this shoot has all of its candidates filled in now. So two nine, two nine, two nine, and here we have two nine and a three. And what do we know? Well, it's got to be the three because of our unique rectangle pattern. So that will be nine. And this is two now, giving us nine here and two here. Also gives a pair of twos down here. And uh, this nine blocking down here, nine blocking down here, nine across there means that is a nine. Five's in that square. And now we can say five blocking down here, five blocking across here gives a pair of fives there. Um, one blocks down here. Uh, well, actually, sorry. In this column, we just have a one to fill in. So let's put that one right now. Okay, one blocking across here and across here and down here gives us two spaces to put one. One blocking down here and across here gives us two places for candidate one. So we've done as much as we can. Three is a pair here now. Okay, sevens blocking across here, sevens blocking here, gives me a pair of sevens to fill in, meaning that this cannot be a seven, must be a three. This is now a six, that's a seven. Okay. Six blocking up here, six blocking down here, gives me a six to place in this square, a one now in this square. Six blocking across here, across here, so gives me a pair of sixes there. There are two missing numbers in this column. They are one and eight, I think. Okay. So we've got 
I mean, uh, eight blocks down here, so we'll be in this column here. Is there anything? Ah, okay, three blocking down here now. We don't have three in this block, so that's a three, that's a five. This is a five. This is not a five. One number missing for this column. One, two, three, we don't have a four. Let's put it in that would four blocking down here now. That gives us a four there. This can't be a four, can it? So 4 must go here, and when I do that, that's going to give me a 9. Um, shouldn't take that long to finish now, should it? But um, I just got to look in the right place, that's all. Ah, okay, so now we've got four here. This can't be a four. Four has to be in this square here. And then this four must be removed. And the uh, other number that we need to get here is an eight, in fact. So if eight blocks across here, one of these two squares will have to be an eight. And indeed, one of these two squares will have to be an eight. Did I just click the right number? I don't think I did. I might put a six, sorry, there you go, eight, that's better. Um, okay, and then eight will have to be here, perfect. Because now we can see that eight is in top row and bottom row, so over here, eight must be in the middle row, there's only one square available. So the eight goes here and we're overwriting a six, so the six goes here, we're overwriting a one, one is here, give us an eight here, a one here. Not a difficult puzzle today, I would suggest. Uh, not too tough at all, I think. This 3 says that this can't be a 3, so 3 is here, 2 is there. 2 must be in this square, we're overwriting a 5. 5 goes there, we're overwriting an 8. 8 blocks there. 7 is the last number to get there. 7 blocks up here, giving us a 7 in that square. 6 now. Goes there, and then the uh, nine goes here, and the eight goes here, giving us a seven in that square. Nine here, eight here. This eight, in fact, gives us a three here, and an eight here. Uh, I haven't quite finished the puzzle, but we're almost there. Um, the last number to get up here is six. We already have a five, so this must be a three now. And the fives in this square, this three means that this can't be a three. Three's here, last number to get a six. Our rainbow pattern says we have completed the puzzle successfully and without too much trouble. Well, the rainbow doesn't tell you that, I say that. Uh, not too difficult, pretty much a clean sweep um, across. So, thank you very much for joining me for today's uh, New York Times hard level Sudoku puzzle. Um, Try the LA Times later, shall we? Okay, thank you, bye-bye.